Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson and welcome to another 3-Minute Thriller where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3-Minute Thriller, um, we're going to learn how to use two helpful tricks in Google Drawings. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Google Drive, click on New, More, and Google Drawings. The first thing I want to show you is how to use the Shift key. Holding down the Shift key and creating a shape within Google Drawings can create a shape that's proportional. So for example, I'm going to go to Shape right now, go to Shapes here, and I'm going to go to Triangle. Now I'm going to draw a triangle without holding down the Shift key. So without holding down the Shift key, I can make this triangle a little bit longer, shorter, you know, really skinny, really big. I can make it in all these different shapes. But let's say, I, let's just make it like this. And let's say that I want to make a triangle that's not stretching back and forth like that. Well, what I can do is I can go to Shapes again, go to Triangle, whoops, Shapes, Triangle, and hold down the Shift key. So now my finger's on the Shift key, and now I'm going to click and make a triangle. And you can notice that no matter how I move my cursor around, it's not becoming, you know, taller or bigger, as far as wider, I should say. Um, it's staying in proportion from the way that, you know, that I saw it when I picked on it. So, shift key, very helpful. Also, when you hold down the shift key and you move uh, shapes around, it moves them down, it moves them around very, very slowly. So I'm holding the shift key right now and hitting the arrows, moving this triangle around on my screen. If I were just to move the triangle, move, use, move the triangle with the arrows without holding the shift key, it moves a lot more. So the shift key, I'll hold it down again, slightly moves it just a little, which is nice if you're trying to get something just, just right on your Google Drawing. Okay, I'm going to delete these two shapes because the last thing I want to show you is, uh, is this right here. Let's say I want to make another triangle, and I'm going to make it yellow with a red border. We'll make it pretty thick, and then I want to give it a dashed look. All right. Now, let's say I want to make a square that looks just like this. Well, what I could do is I could go to Shapes, um, and we'll just pick this right here. And instead of a square, I'll make a rectangle. Um, I could go through the whole process, turn it into yellow, make the border red, make it dashed. Or I could select this triangle. I can go to Shapes, go to the rectangle again, click, drag, drop. And now, because this was selected, it makes the square, or rectangle in this case, just like the triangle.